Hi friends, it's Dyra. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to give you guys a realistic look at keratin treatments for natural curly hair. This is my sister. You've seen her plenty of times on my videos. Um, the last time I did her hair, I colored her hair. Um, but she's used to getting keratin treatments, so we do them every, I'll say, about six months. So she was due for one. The company that I am using for her keratin is called Clio, and they are a company that uses 50% natural ingredients in their products. Um, they use argan oil, coconut oil, and olive oil, which helps in nourishment of the hair. So um, the steps are shampooing the hair with a clarifying shampoo first, then I will have to blow dry, then apply the product, then she will have to sit under the dryer for 15 minutes and then I will blow dry and flat iron about five times each strand which I never like that about keratin treatments but it is what it is you know you have to do that to lock the product in so you'll see me do all of these steps but I've done keratin treatments in the past um, well, I've done videos for them in the past and I get asked uh, quite a few questions so I wanted to take the opportunity to answer some of them now. So as you see I have the treatment here. Um, the company says that you can apply a little bit on the hair as a detangler at first because after you shampoo with the clarifying shampoo you cannot add conditioner or any type of detangler in the hair. It has to be absolutely squeaky clean with no buildup whatsoever. So you don't want to use anything to, um, any product to detangle it. So you can use a little bit of the keratin treatment just to smooth it out because um, with most keratin treatments, well, all, all of them that I've used, as soon as you apply the product, it softens the hair. So that does help with detangling. Okay, so now let's talk about the keratin treatment. What this does is replace any keratin loss that you might have had from styling your hair or from any chemical processes and even the sun. The main reason to get a keratin is to remove frizz. And what it does is smooths out the cuticles on your hair strands, which makes your hair more manageable. So that means it makes it easier for you to detangle and style it. It makes your hair dry quicker, um, which is also part of helping you be able to style it a little better. And it makes your hair shinier. The main reason that most of my clients who get the keratin get it is because they may sweat a lot, which in turn causes their hair to frizz up quickly and they don't get longevity from their styles. So the keratin allows them to prolong any style that they may have uh, without their hair frizzing up. Now, another question that I've gotten a lot is, does it knock down your curl pattern? And the answer is yes. How much depends on the person. Some people can get it and they will knock down their curl pattern just a little bit. And then there's some people where the keratin will make their hair straight. I get asked the question a lot if, you know, is this something that you think I should do? And that's a really hard question for me to answer for people who are not my clients. With my clients that are my regulars and I see all the time, I pretty much know their lifestyle. I know their feelings about their hair and certain things that they like and they don't like. And I have a pretty good idea of what they would be happy with or not so I can make suggestions based on that. Um, I mainly will offer it to my clients who are possibly at the edge of getting a relaxer because they just are tired of the frizz or their hair is just so unmanageable for them and they don't not want to but 
you know people have budgets they can't come see me every you know other day to get their hair done so they want to do something to their hair that will make it more manageable so they can they can take care of it there's that little excuse me y'all i can't speak tonight <laughs> so they can take care of it their themselves um so i would suggest this and for the most part for the people that have suggested to it ends up being a lifesaver and that's one of the reasons why my sister gets it all the time now it does wear off um it lasts about between four to six months in that time frame and you'll start to notice that the keratin is leaving your hair because it starts going back to the normal state it was before you got the keratin i have had uh situations where someone's hair did not go all the way back to curly right away it does always go back but it may take a little bit but that does not happen often but i like to mention it because i like to be honest with people so people can make decisions based on correct information now you saw me apply the treatment and i did use a rat tail comb that is another thing that I was getting comments on on my other keratin videos. The reason that I used a small tooth comb like that to apply the product, well not to apply the product, is to comb it through, is because you want to make sure that the product goes on all of the strands and the best way to do that is to comb it through. Now I'm not causing damage using a fine tooth comb because as i stated earlier as soon as you apply the product onto the hair the hair softens so it almost kind of feels like a conditioner for one and for two you do detangle the hair you've seen how i detangled it with the wet brush so the hair is already detangled prior to me applying the product so i'm not ripping the hair off in any sense if anything this is the part right here that i hate the most is having to use a flat iron and having to do around five to seven passes until you see the hair become shiny that is something that you have to do to seal the keratin in All right guys, so this is what her hair looks like when I am done flat ironing her hair. And I forgot to mention that I did use the temperature of 420 for her hair. So yeah, I flat ironed it and then this collection also comes with a hair serum that you can use when you're done to smooth any flyaways or also give it some shine. 
and then what she will want to do is just keep her hair straight for the next three days so that um, the keratin can set in you don't want to get it wet um, so yeah you just basically leave your hair alone for the next few days now my sister's purpose for getting her keratin is just to reduce the frizz and to make it more manageable for her is the main reason so that she can do it on her own without having to come see me so i had her come back and allow me to do a wash and go now this is i, I believe it was four days maybe later four or five days later her hair is still straight she asked me to trim it so before I shampooed her hair I did give it a nice trim so that's what you'll see me doing here So the first thing that I'm going to do is to shampoo her hair and this company Cleo has a, a keratin shampoo and conditioner and it is sulfate free. Anytime you get a keratin treatment you must wash your hair well shampoo your hair with a sulfate free shampoo and the reason for that is that sulfates start to break down the keratin. As I stated before, it only lasts for about four months to six months, depending on how often you wash your hair. So you don't want to start breaking the keratin down because it won't last as long. So the reason why I'm showing you this part, the actual shampoo process um, and me applying the mask is because I want you to see how silky her curls look already and I was able to detangle her hair in a fraction of the time that I was able to do it the first time. She has since shampooed her own hair since this video and she tells me that she absolutely loves it. It's so easy to comb through her hair and yeah, she loves it. It made it so much um, silkier for her to be able to do it herself. And here, here you see in real time, I'm showing you how easy it is to detangle her hair now, but you can also see her hair still has texture. So as I stated in the beginning of the video, Normally, I would not give my sister a wash and go set. She's only allowing me to do this for the purpose of this video so that I can show you guys what it looks like after you shampoo your hair after getting a keratin. I've shown the first step several times, um, but I've never shown what the hair looks like afterwards, and I've got quite I've gotten quite a few people ask me that. So 
that's why I'm adding this part of this video so it can help you make the decision if you're on the fence about getting a keratin. So, you know, like I said, she does it for it to be more manageable. It is winter time now, so she doesn't really wear her hair curly as much, but she does love that during the summertime she can uh, do her wash and go and put it in a puff because that's mainly the way she wears it when she uh, does a wash and go she'll leave the back puffy and in the front well kind of like what you saw in the beginning of the video which I'll show again so that you guys can see she'll basically brush it back into a puff so what I put into her hair was the design essentials coconut milk I think that's what yeah, it was the coconut milk leave-in conditioner and then I also use the foam that goes along with that but I also use some of the we dot gel which I absolutely love is one of my favorite uh, gels for curly hair and then I'm just combing it through normally I wouldn't even take this long with a wash and go set I feel like with a wash and go you should be able to put in a very minimal amount of product comb it through and then just let your hair dry and uh, you can get the curls that you want uh, in my opinion a wash and go should be exactly what it is you wash it throw some stuff in it and go so um, as you can see while I'm applying this as we start getting to the top her hair is straighter than the back and the reason for this is that in a lot of us the front and top of our hair is straighter than the back and in my opinion is for several reasons for one we do apply a lot of product in the front of our hair to stretch it back to a, put it in a ponytail put it up in a bun um, so we're constantly stretching the top of our hair and also we're um we're getting a lot more sun on the top of our hair so it's more exposed than the back that's why a lot of us curly girls have those tight curls in the back and then the top is just a little bit weaker so when i applied the keratin um it did knock down her curls everywhere but since her curls on the top were already looser than the back of course what you're going to see is looser curls in the back than what she had and even looser curls on the top than what she had and this is mainly the part that I wanted you guys to see when you're making a decision of what you want to do with your hair it needs to be something that works for you now like I said before as you can see my sister had her hair up in a bun you can still see the indent and she will leave the rest of it curled. So for her, the curls in the front being looser is not a big deal because she puts it back anyway. So she's happy when her curls are, you know, looser in the front, but this works for her. Um, so right here, after I apply the product, I did allow her to sit under the dryer till it dried. And then I applied my own product, the Love and Health Shine Spray, and it's called Seal the Deal. So this is the finished look for today. Her curls are nice and moisturized. They are practically frizz free and it will stay like this for several days and even when she goes to shampoo her hair again it will not look how it did before it won't get super frizzy so yeah this is what works for her this is what she loves it helps her to manage her hair when she wants to wear it straight and it keeps it frizz free for when she wants to wear it curly let me know in the comments down below what you think and if it's something that you will do. I will be leaving Cleo's information down in the description box also with a link to get a discount if you are interested in purchasing their products. You can check for that in the description box down below. 
Guys, thank you so much for watching. I feel like I talked you guys ear to death today. <laughs> Please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.